Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Michael and today we're going to be adding another ingredient to our ramen dish. This video is coming up in the future and that is going to be our ramen eggs. So I've got a pot of water here that I've got heating up to boiling and I've got my eggs sitting over here. I'm going to be putting those in the water in just a minute and I'm going to go ahead and get the other ingredients mixed together from my eggs to marinate in. They need to marinate for 24 hours before we can use those. So if you've ever been to a restaurant and you've seen the eggs that have a little bit of a brown outside on them when you get your ramen this is what we're making today and so today we're going to be using a combination of soy sauce this is a half a cup of regular soy sauce and i'm going to put this in this bag here that i've got and i've got that in a plastic container just in case uh, that has a leak in it that we don't want to happen so we're going to put in my half a cup of my soy sauce and then i've got a quarter cup of mirin this is mirin it is a sweet cooking rice wine if you've never seen that in the store you can ask for that this is mirin this is a quarter cup we're going to add that into our bag here with the other and then i've got a quarter cup of sake you can either put it in here like i'm going to do today or you can heat this up and burn off the alcohol in it i'm not going to be doing that today i'm just going to mix it in here regular so I've got a quarter cup of sake and we'll be putting that into our bag here with our other ingredients. And my sugar was one half cup of sugar. We put that in. All right, now that I've got my bag here, I'm going to go ahead and seal that off and just kind of give that a little shake around so that that sugar gets blended in with those other ingredients and gets dissolved. And I'm going to let that sit here on my counter, be ready to go. All right, so I've got my water boiling now and I'm going to take my eggs and I'm going to slowly drop those in. And I'm just going to put those right into my boiling water just like that. All right, now that I've got my eggs in my boiling water, I've set a timer for six minutes. We want these to be soft boiled, and uh, we're, so we're gonna let them sit in here for six minutes, and I'll come back and we'll take them out and move on to our next step. I'm gonna slightly give these a little bit of spin around so we get that egg yolk to center in that egg, because we definitely don't want that on one side of it. So just by stirring this around in the pan for about one minute, it will actually set the yolk on those so that they will uh, come up right in the center of the egg. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, my six minute timer just went off. I'm gonna take this to the sink and pour this boiling water off, put it in some cold water, and then I'm gonna come back and dump it in this bath of ice cubed water right here. So let me go get this boiling water out of here and we'll move on to our next step. All right, I am back and we're gonna move our eggs now into our ice bath to make sure that we get that cooking stop. All right, I've got my eggs in my water now. I'm gonna let them sit here on the counter for about 20 minutes so they can cool down. You wanna be very careful with these because these are soft boiled and we don't wanna disturb the yolk and the egg whites on the inside so let these sit we'll come back i'll clean this other things up here and we'll get ready to put it into our marination here and move on to our next step all right these eggs have cooled off now and i'm going to get these peeled and we want to be really careful with these when you crack them to try to peel them that you don't want to disturb too much of the inside of them because they are soft boiled and we don't want to break all that apart so I'm gonna take these to the sink and run some water on them and peel them and I'll be back once I get all these peeled. All right, I'm back and I've got my eggs peeled here and I've got some really pretty ones where the peel come off of them really nicely. I'm gonna go so, ahead and transfer those into my mixture here. And again, with those, we wanna be really careful with those so we can uh, do not mess up that yolk on the inside of them. So I'm gonna take my bag here and I'm gonna take a lot of the air out of it. So now that we got that sealed, I'm gonna put the lid on it, put it in the refrigerator. These need to marinate for 24 hours. And then once they're done, I'll come back and we'll cut into one and let you see what that looks like. So stick with me and I'll be back and we'll show you what this looks like after 24 hours. I am back. I've got my ramen eggs here and I wanted to show you what these look like. It's been 24 hours since we put this into our sake marinade. So they've been in the refrigerator and I wanted to cut into one of these and show you what this is. All right, I've got a sharp knife here and I'm just going to take this and gently cut down into the egg itself. As you can see here, this egg turned out perfect. We're going to be using this in my ramen in an upcoming video, and I'm going to be having some ramen here made pretty soon. So I'm going to give this a taste test. You can actually use these as a snack if you want to make these and try them. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this off here on the side. That has a nice little sweet taste to it you can taste that sake on it you can taste those other ingredients in there this egg is delicious so give this a try i know you're going to love it even if you don't make ramen 
can definitely try this and have it as a snack or you can impress your friends and say you made ramen eggs. I hope this has inspired you to try to make ramen eggs. And if you like this content, maybe you might consider giving me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And check out one of these other two videos over here. You might find something else you like. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section how your ramen eggs turned out. If you do anything different to them, let me know for sure. I'm always willing to learn new techniques. And if this is your first time making ramen eggs, I definitely want to hear from you on how yours turned out. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye now.